Sometimes when you've installed Anaconda and then you try to run Jupyter, Jupyter can't find Anaconda. We're going to see why that happens and how to solve that problem in this video. So I've run Anaconda Navigator. I'm going to hit launch. First, I'm going to walk us through an example of this error. So let's say uh, you know you have a class, and in that class you use something like PyEnv in order to install Python, Jupyter, uh, Pandas, all your stuff. And then you have another class, and the other class says, "No, you need to use you need to use uh, Anaconda." So sometimes you will have a conflict between those two setups. So what happens here is we're gonna Shift enter, shift enter, shift enter, shift enter, and it tells us some things. This is just trying to see, is your computer set up correctly for this class? And eventually we get to this failed path tests. It, it can't necessarily find Anaconda, and then no module named Conda. Now the no module found is going to be the number one error you're going to find when you're trying to run code that assumes Anaconda is installed. Uh, but then it can't find the Anaconda or Anaconda Python. Even if we did pip install Conda, things like that, it's still not going to work. How do we fix this? Now, in another video, I've talked a little bit about this, um, but I'll do it again here. And that is kernel. The word kernel shows up all the time when you are dealing with Jupyter. And that's kind of the glue that connects your Jupyter notebook to a specific version of Python in a specific ver place on your computer. Now, if we go into terminal, uh, or even we can actually do this, do this right here in our notebook, um, we can run Jupyter kernel spec list. And what Jupyter kernel spec list does is it says, this is the Python that you're able to use. These are all of the kernels. These are all of the pieces of software that we can run from Jupyter. And you see right here, the kernel is user Soma library, Jupyter kernels, Python 3. Doesn't really tell you that much. If we want to know a little bit more, we can do dash dash JSON after it. And what that is gonna do is it's gonna say, okay, this is the Python 3 that we're using. Here's its resource directory. Here's where the actual binary file is located. Here's its display name. Here's the language, it's of course Python. So what we see here, is the Python that is being run here when we run Python 3. If we go to kernel, change kernel, we can't change, there's only Python 3 here. Python 3, where is this Python? User Soma Pi ENV the, versions 3.8.2 bin Python. So it is not using the Anaconda Python, it is using the one from Pi ENV. Now usually when you try to solve this problem, uh, the way that it's going to be solved is you're going to do something like delete PyEnv and delete a bunch of other stuff and then reinstall Anaconda a thousand times. It doesn't have to be that way. You can actually have your PyEnv or other versions of Python, maybe your 2.7, things like that, installed at the same time as Anaconda. All we need to do is we need to say, hey, Jupyter, add another kernel, add a kernel that points towards whatever the Python is that we're trying to use. So if we want to know what the Python is we're trying to use, um, if we type which Python, it's going to tell us the default version of Python that when we type Python, pip, things like that, this is the Python that's going to be run. If we do dash a, it's going to show us all of them. So what this shows us here is uh, we have three Pythons on our computer. We have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. This top one here is the one for Anaconda. This bottom one here is Python 2.7. We can tell by if we run that dash dash version, you're gonna see Python 2.7. And this one right here in the middle is the one that is connected into this notebook. So what we are going to do is we're gonna plug this Python and this Python into Jupyter by giving them their own kernels. Now, the way we're going to do that well, okay, there are a few ways to do that. The easiest way to do it is, let's start with 2.7. I'm gonna copy this, and I'm going to say, hey, um, this specific Python, the first thing I need you to do is install something called IPyKernel. 
that is going to, it's a tool that allows us to hook this Python into Jupyter. Now we can't just run pip install ipykernel because who knows which version of Python pip is connected to. This, if we run it like this, it says, hey, this specific Python run this command. Shift enter, it's gonna yell, it's gonna say no module named pip. I don't even know how we're supposed to install pip there. So, okay, if you end up trying to install Python 2.7 in Jupyter, go to python.org, download 2.7 from there, and then your life will be much easier. Then you'll reproduce the next step that we do. So, uh, users opt Anaconda 3 bin Python. Now, if we just run Python, that is going to be the Python that we're looking at there. Um, Python dash dash version, it's saying 383. Uh, this is the one that's associated with Anaconda. So what we want to do is we want to say, hey, uh, please associate this Anaconda Python with Jupyter. Now the issue now is when you're in Anaconda, Anaconda has different environments that you can use. Uh, by default, you're in one that is called base. You can install other ones. Maybe you have one for doing geographic work. Maybe you have one for doing data analysis. Maybe you have one for making websites. Uh, so the problem is that we need to make sure that it hooks into the right environment, the one specific environment we're going to use. Uh, most people just use base, which is the default environment that you're going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up terminal and I'm going to open up a new window. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm in the base environment. And I'm going to do that by typing conda activate base. Now, by default, when you open up terminal, it's going to put you into base unless conda doesn't automatically uh, start up and you'll have to run this command, but we just run it to be safe. If you had a different environment, you would do conda activate that environment. The next thing we need to do is we need to say, hey, Jupyter, install a kernel that points to this one specific Python. Which Python? Oh, that Python right there. The way we're going to do that is, I always cut and paste this, has a lot of options here. So we're saying Python, run the module ipykernel, and I want you to install the kernel just for this one user, and I want you to call it anaconda base and display the name as anaconda base in parentheses. Now, these two, it seems kind of weird. They seem to kind of be the same. Let me explain why. Um, when we do, let's say, Jupyter kernel spec list, Jupyter kernel spec list, this is the name of this kernel. The kernel is Python 3. If we install a kernel that is a Python 3 kernel, such as this one right here, it will automatically call it Python 3, and it will automatically overwrite the existing Python 3 kernel we have. That might be fine for you, but I want to have a Python 3 that points to PyENV, my, my default normal one here, and I also want to have one for Anaconda when I want to use Anaconda. So I have to change its name here. Now I'm going to call it Anaconda base because it's Anaconda in the base environment. Now second is display name. What display name is, is when I go to kernel change kernel or when I go to create a new notebook for Python 3, this is what we're going to call it there. Um, either it's going to call itself Python 3 or it's going to call itself lowercase Anaconda dash lowercase base, which is ugly. Uh, I would like it to be Anaconda base in parentheses, it'll just look much nicer. So if you are installing this for another environment, uh, such as GIS or something, you could say Anaconda dash GIS, display name Anaconda GIS. Uh, you could install this for other versions of Python using PyENV. We're just doing it now for uh, the one for uh, Anaconda. So I run this. And it says, wonderful, installed kernel spec Anaconda base. We can confirm that. Um, by saying Jupyter kernel spec list, and it now lists and says, hey, we have this one from Anaconda, and we have this one from Python 3. We could do debug to see a little bit more up, oh, not debug, JSON. 
JSON to see a little bit more. Um, so we see that one of them named Python 3 goes to my PyEnv version, and one of them called Anaconda Base plugs into Anaconda. Now we can't just run it right now from Jupyter. We need to close down our Jupyter server and restart it. Gonna let that shut down, shut down, shut down, slowly but surely. It'll get there, and now I'm going to run it again. Load it back up. Downloads. Here we go. Now, if I go down to import Conda, I said, hey, we're going to install it. We're going to hook Anaconda into Jupyter. If I run it, it is not going to work. It's going to say no module named Conda because by default, this hooks into the Python 3 kernel, that default kernel that we were using before that is PyEnv. So if I go to kernel change kernel, it now gives me the option of, do you want to use Anaconda base? And I say, yes starts it up and then I shift enter here and now magically Anaconda can import and I can get everything else from Anaconda. The one other trick you'll need is when you create a new notebook, you can't just say new Python 3, that is going to be your PyEnv. What you need to do is make sure you're saying Anaconda base. So if I start one from Python 3 and I try to do import Conda, it will not work, but if I try to do notebook Anaconda base, import Conda, it will work because this kernel connects to Anaconda, whereas the other kernel doesn't. Uh, and now you can run um, that install command that we did before. Nah, I close it out. You can run that with any version of Python on your machine. Just make sure that you always give it a special uh, dash dash name and dash dash display name and then everything will work out perfect all right hope that works if you have any questions leave them down below